this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now, this time we're going to be looking into the 14th episode of Season 5 of The Muppet Show, which features Mac Davis. Now, just in case you don't know who Mac Davis is, he actually started his career as a songwriter for Elvis, writing songs including Memories, In the Ghetto, Don't Cry Daddy, and also a little less conversation. But afterwards, in the 70s, he would go on to have his own solo career, where he actually found many success both as a songwriter, a singer, and also a actor as well, on stage and on television and even uh, movies, where his biggest hit would probably have to be Baby Don't Get Hooked On Me. And when I look into the episode that he appeared on The Muppet Show, I gotta say that it is a little bit of a mix, because there are a lot of things that really do work, but honestly, there could have been some components at the same time that they could have retweaked it in order to make it a great episode. Now let me just go and start off with the stuff that really did work here, and that is a little bit of the storyline. You see, what happened was that Beaker got into one of Dr. Bunsen Honeydew's crazy contraptions, which in this case is a copying machine, and Beaker ended up cloning himself where there are several Beakers running amok and now they plot to go and attack Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. And that's mostly the plot of what has been happening in some parts of the episode. Not all, but some. Where you see Beaker just running around trying to catch Dr. Bunsen Honeydew like a wild cat and mouse chase. And even Beaker appearing in several different uh, segments. Uh, some of these would also include, uh, let's see here, uh, Beaker appeared in the Swedish Chef bit, and also in the Bear on Patrol number, where honestly, they it's actually really hilarious, and the amount of material that they actually gathered with the multiple Beakers is actually a lot of fun to watch, and uh, Beaker would even come in to appear right at the end in the closing number where Mac Davis would sing I Believe in Music and then suddenly more and more beakers would come in and originally Mac Davis just started out just like I introducing the band and he would just sing with them and then suddenly the band turned into beakers which honestly I kind of expected they would go a little bit more with it like suddenly you would see the entire audience is filled with nothing but beakers but then again that would be like a miracle to work on to have like construct all the different beaker puppets and just have them appear all over the stage that would kind of be a nightmare for the for the jim henson company but it would still make an amazing effect uh but even at the ending like during the credits like the band suddenly transforms into a whole bunch of beakers like it did during the uh, ending with i believe in music and even statler and waldorf suddenly became beakers so, uh, that's mostly it on that aspect, but then there's also another thing that's going on, and that is with Mac Davis. Now, I do appreciate that they do give a lot of acknowledgement for Mac Davis, and let him sing a lot of his songs. Like, uh, he would go and sing, uh, Baby Don't Get Hooked On Me, and also sing, uh, Poor Boy Boogie, and also, uh, just a cute little segment called It's Hard, it's hard to Be Humble, which is kind of like this egotistical song that he would sing with Link Hogthrob and then everybody joins along and of course like I said at the end with I Believe in Music. Now admittedly there are some times that like the Beaker elements and the Mac Davis elements would cross together. Like I said there is the ending bit with I Believe in Music and also uh, when Mac Davis would sing Poor Boy Boogie and tries to teach the Beakers to you know do like the little oop oop oh oh you know, stuff like that. Um, but other than that, they don't really work together in a way. And what I mean by that, it just feels like they're two completely different entities. Where one, that you got the entire plot line of the Beakers running amok. And then you got another segment where it doesn't necessarily have a story, but it's just mostly focusing on Mac Davis. So it's kind of a clash of the storyline versus the variety aspect. And it's not just like the Mac Davis that they just 
work on their own. There's also uh, another opening, another show, which honestly was a really fun bit to watch. Um, and then there's another part where Rolf would play on the piano and then Beauregard would keep interrupting by doing his janitorial duties. Uh, but yeah, th the biggest thing is that they feel like two different things that somehow it tried to blend together a little bit, but not as much. Like, for me personally, I really did enjoy the beaker aspect, where you see all the beakers trying to chase down Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. I would have liked it if we see more of that, or if they know how to incorporate Mac Davis more into it, but it's, like I said before, it just feels like two completely different things. Um, if it, like, I would have liked it more if maybe Mac Davis would have a little bit of a hand in terms of the involvement with all the different beakers, maybe him helping out Dr. Bunsen Honeydew or something like that, but yeah, it, it's just that Mac Davis is just there as kind of your regular special guest star. Now, this is not to undermine Mac Davis at all. His portion is still really good, like, if you're a Mac Davis, you'll, you'll definitely appreciate this, and... Probably if you are a Mac Davis fan, you'll probably disagree with me and you might say that you like the Mac Davis aspect more than you did with the Beaker aspect and that's perfectly fine, I understand that. It's just that, I don't know, it feels like there are two different things trying to clash together and doesn't necessarily turn out to be like, I don't know, something that can work all, all entirety as a whole. But overall, I would say that this is not a bad episode at all. All the components in here, they're a lot of fun to watch, they definitely do work. Mac Davis was definitely a great special guest star, providing a lot of great music and a lot of his great numbers in there as well. Um, a lot of funny moments have appeared, a lot of great comedic spe uh, sketches with another opening, another show, and also The, the Swedish Chef and Bear on Patrol. And the storyline with all the beakers attacking Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, that's definitely a great story, you know, that's definitely a lot of fun to watch. And kind of gives in a, a more cartoony plot where you, it suddenly becomes this big cat and mouse chase of Dr. Bunsen Honeydew versus all the different beakers. But my biggest issue is just that they're trying to tell two different things and even though it tried a little bit mixing them together, like I said, it's basically telling two different stories in one episode. So it doesn't feel like an entire episode as a whole. It's just you get two different entities, the Mac Davis aspect and the Beaker aspect. So yeah, I mean, it's like I said, it's still really good. It's still worth watching and you'll still get a lot of fun watching it. But it's just that I do wish that these two things could be able to mash to mesh out well together. There is absolute potential, but it's a little bit of a swing and a miss. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this episode, so I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully there will only be one beaker for the next episode and things can get back to normal a little bit with the relationship between Bunsen Honeydew and Beaker. But we will only know until next time, so... See you later, dudes!